Hello and welcome to this video. It has been a while since my last tutorial, so I thought it was about time for a new one. Today I wanted to share with you a simple trick on how to eliminate color reflections from rings and diamonds. The first step is always to get the image sharp in camera, but often different light sources and colors from the surroundings reflect in the shiny ring surface or in the cut diamond stone. As a wedding photographer, we often cannot prevent this from happening as we photograph the rings in the environment of the wedding day. Let's head right into the Lightroom and I show you how to get rid of those colors. Here we see a ring picture and we see the color reflections in the ring, in the diamond. And of course we don't want this, we want a nice and white shiny ring. What we can do here is to select this brush and then we select saturation. Sorry, I have a German version so it's um, of course in German. And then I just brush with the saturation. It's uh, sorry, it's it's um, it's not put to zero or it's 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 like yeah, minus 86. So you can see I brush over the over the diamond and all these colors just vanish. I can do the same on the ring. We can see here, there's a window reflecting in the ring and here's something red behind me. I don't want these colors in my ring. And even here it looks like the ring is golden though it is a silver ring. Ready? And then, oh sorry, we take a new one. We put sharpen, this is sharpen, and then we just make this ring sparkle a little bit more. You see? And we're ready to go. Do you see the difference? Here's another example. Here we have a ring and a flower and you may know you often photograph the rings on the bouquet or in a flower. This, yeah, this is very common for wedding pictures. But the problem is then that the color of the flower reflects in the diamond and in the ring. I go back to my brush, I take saturation and I just brush over my diamond and all these pinkish colors just disappear. What I wouldn't do here is erase all the colors from the reflections of the flowers here in the ring because it feels natural. We see it's the flower, it's not like a strange color reflection. So I only eliminate them from the diamond. And again, I would just sharpen it a little bit more. Do yourself a favor and don't put your sharpen brush up to 100% because then the diamond looks really scary. Just like this. And we have a perfectly white diamond in a pink flower. Here's another one. It's a golden ring. But we see colors in the diamonds as well. I can close this. So we see diamonds, uh, we see colors in those diamonds as well. So this is a little bit more tricky, but not impossible. I take saturation and then I choose a smaller brush that is just as big as the line of diamonds. And I'm using now my, um, my mouse, but if you're using a Wacom board or something like that, it might be a lot easier for you. Do you see how all those colors just disappear? Just like that. Just be really careful that you don't touch the golden surface, otherwise this ring turns um, white or it turns like a silver ring and we don't want this. It's a golden ring, it should stay golden, just the color of the diamonds should be eliminated. And then sharpen. Always choose a new brush, it's very important, otherwise you lose all your information that we already had here. The red lines show where we, um, where we had the saturation. Um, so choose a new one and then sharpen and then you have two brushes on one ring. 
just like that. And your image is ready to go. Here's another image. Not sure if it's perfectly, it is sharp, yeah. Um, what we have here is yellow color in the stone and a red reflection on the ring. I was sitting in front of a window and in the window there, there were red flags. And you can see here the red flags too. And yeah, they are very, very um, <coughs> uh, ugly in the ring because the ring is of course not red. So I take my saturation brush, make it a little bigger again, sorry. Once more, like this. And just like that, the red flag disappears. And the yellow cast from the diamond. We could do this here too. Eliminating all the red cast. And then a new one, sharpening. Isn't it a beautiful ring? I love it. So, of course, there's now a little bit of dust on the ring that would be eliminated, but we are now talking only about the color that shouldn't be there. And you're ready to go. And there's one last one, this one. And this is a little bit more special because what we see here is also chromatic aberration, which means the, the uh, light breaks in the ring. You can see it a little better. Mm. Um, right. Like this. You have chromatic aberration over here and you can just eliminate the color. You see it's getting much better, but not perfect. So we see some blues here a little bit of reds here, I, I guess that's the flag again hanging behind me. So again here, shush shush, and you have a white diamond. So you can use the chromatic aberration to get natural um, color cast uh, corrected, like um, purple and green. But all these others, you need your brush tool. So, I hope uh, this helped you a little bit to create beautiful ring shots and to erase and eliminate colors that are reflecting in your diamonds or in, in, on the surface of the wing. And um, have a great day. Thanks for watching.